Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and this channel is devoted to Pisces. I do lots of Pisces reading, well at least once a day. And uh, it, it's working for now. I don't want to overburden you. And you know, once is good. I'm here to motivate and inspire and make you feel better about yourself and maybe put and shed light on certain things that maybe you're not really fully looking at because we uh, like to uh, sometimes stare at something so intently that we don't see what's going on. You know, you're staring so close at something, like you could be staring like this close to it and you're missing the whole big picture. So, um, these are great, beautiful cards, by the way, in case you do want to look at them. Okay, they're the Power to Surrender cards and I've... Uh, uh, they've been gifted to me, and uh, I'm in love with them, as I am in love with every single deck that I get. Yes, I have a problem. Um, but, um, yes, I'm very grateful, first of all, that it was gifted, because I have to lay low on cards right now. And, surrender to silence. Look at that. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. And I'm not going to be silent today. That's the last thing I want to be. You wouldn't want to come here and have somebody completely silent. But that is absolutely what I was talking about. Sometimes if you're silent and stop focusing too on just the one little thing here and you're silent, then maybe when you do come back you can see the full picture. So it's kind of a sort of, out, sort of roundabout way of, of uh, putting that in there. Oh, this one wanted to jump out. Okay. Oh, there we go. Self-reflection. Okay, so this is about silence and self-reflection. I guess we know what the cards are going to be talking about today, okay? Well, I'm hoping to talk about uh, something that's been on my mind about just how special you are, Spi Spices. <laughs> Pisces. I know there's another channel that she calls uh, Pisces Spices. Um, I think it's just a turn of the tongue, you know. It just It's so easy sometimes to do. So I'm going to pull some cards for you, but the self-reflection, let's see, we'll just, we'll take a quick read here, because I like reading what, especially the Moonology cards, and I haven't gotten this one yet, look at that. It's weird, isn't it? It's like, yeah, she sees herself in very different ways. I don't know. We'll see. 17, 1 plus 7 is 8. I always add them up to see if they have a number of any kind of, um, you know, significance. It may mean something to you, 17 or number 8. Be curious about your own nature. Choose to turn inwards to quietly, here's that silence again, contemplate who and what you are and want. The more you know about yourself, the more you are able to steer yourself well. Know that you believe and why. Know what you believe and why, yet be open to the development of new beliefs and ways of being. So it's really about the Hermit card. It's really about going inward. It's really about the Moon card. So let's see if those come out. I'm using the Vice Versa to row. So... I don't use this one very often, and I think I'm going to read it intuitively because it's it's a it's it's quite the deck. Okay, we'll just see what we can get out of this Pisces. Okay, okay, okay. So I see the King of Cups in reverse, and I see the Three of Swords. Oh. And that's the Ten of Wands. Okay. Okay, do you want me to pull five? I'm going to pull five. I'm going to start with five from this deck and see what we go. Oh, there we go. Have the Nine of Wands. A lot of wands. A lot of burden. Perseverance. Tired. Tired people. Maybe that's why they want you to go inwards right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see. There's six, actually, but it's good. It's good. I'll take them. Okay. So let me see here. Let me see what I can see for you, Pisces. Okay. So there's only two that are inverted 
uh, in other words, if this is vice versa, so you get both sides. See, this would be the right side, but it's on this side now. Okay. I like the king. I like the king being adverted as well because ah oh, it's these are so beautiful. I mean they, they speak so much to me right now. So let's let's let them speak and I'll I'll will give you what the messages are, okay? So you have the three of swords. Yeah. I also saw the tower here in this deck. It went by me and I saw it right away. So it doesn't surprise me that the tower came out, okay? So, okay, for some of you, a uh, heartbreak, okay? And this doesn't mean that it's relationship. It could be your hopes and dreams were dashed somehow, okay? Something, it could be disappointment. For a lot of people, I feel this is disappointment of a situation that didn't turn out the way they wanted it, okay? Yeah, they really wanted something to come true, and it just didn't, okay? It just didn't happen. Yeah. I feel like these swords were put in there just to kind of give up. You know, when you're just like, okay, give up, and you, you, you stick something with something? This is what it feels like. I feel that... Uh, the situation, whatever it was, this disappointment, uh, whatever you did, it abruptly ended, okay? Tower moment for anybody, okay? This is like, that's it. Uh, either you cleaned house or house was cleaned for you, but definitely, this is the, it was an event. It's usually, they say, a surprising event, but you know what? Sometimes it can be just an event that just kind of happened. You just, you had enough, and from like one minute to the next, that was it. Okay, it was like, this is it. I've had it. I'm done. Okay, so it's almost like I don't feel well for maybe some of you, what somebody calls a tower moment, but I think for a lot of you, this is a tower moment that you either knew was coming and you either propelled forward or caused yourself. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is just like that was it. I feel like that I feel like I all I see in my mind is a door was shut and it was shut by you. I see the door shut shutting and and just that was it. That door's closed forever. At least for you right now, it's closed forever. It's done. You stuck a fork in it. That's what I keep my father used to say, stick a fork in it, I'm done. Uh this is it. This is what this picture means for me. It's stick a sword in it, it's done. Okay? And I don't see this heart. This this looks like bushes or flowers, but if you look, this is like beautiful flowers growing, you know, beside a, a heart that's just been stuck. But this again, there's some pictures where the heart isn't bleeding. And it seems to be only sticking at the edges. So it may be what I'm getting from this picture is whatever it is. That's why I'm not going into relationships with this card because what I feel from this card is that it was a, a disappointment. And yeah, it may have affected like a little bit of sentiment or a little bit of emotion like, oh, you know, it's over. But I don't think it was a great big heartbreak. You know what I mean? Because look at where the swords are placed. Nowhere, you know, you'll lose a few chunks, but nothing, nothing really serious. Okay? So, yeah. You know, it's just like a flesh wound. This is what I'm thinking. So, I feel this is more a situation, more than relationship, but for some of you it could be a relationship. It could be something that was long dead. Okay, that that also, this is what's coming through. This is something that will have an emotional upheaval, but not as much as it should, okay, because it was probably over a long time ago. I also feel the last part I will say about these two cards together is that it was long overdue. That is absolutely what I'm getting in my mind. This was long overdue, okay. 
So we're going to leave that there for now. <sighs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have the King of Cups here, and he is in reverse. And But it's not a bad thing, okay? Okay, so this is a brand new season for you, okay? The King of Cups in this picture, he's looking out to the horizon, okay? He's not looking at us, he's looking ahead. And that's what I like about this picture. You see the dolphin as a companion to him, but he's not in front of him, he's behind him, as support, as guidance. So this is saying that you have people who support you. Hey, maybe it's even me who's talking to you right now, okay? Who's giving you, who's telling you how special you are, Pisces, you are special. Okay, you deserve better. So this is silent support behind you that you know they are there. And these rocks, look at this. Look at this. Look at this seat. It is stable in flowing water. You have stability. You have mastery. You are going forward. Okay, and with this Ace of Wands, you're inspired to do so. Okay, you're inspired for this new beginning, for this inspiration, because this ended and it left room for this. It left room for that, Pisces, okay? This is you. Look at you. Look at you turning your back to what doesn't suit anymore, to this crap right here. You just, that's it. You stuck a, you stuck a sword in it and you said, I'm done with this. And look at you being the master sitting there in your kingness. Definitely. And you have the great, you have a great, great uh, ally right here in this dolphin. Okay. I don't know much about signals, but I knew that I do know that dolphins uh, can get pretty vicious if, um, if, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, they're, they're very cute, but they're not all that nice. And if somebody messes, I was going to say screws with you, but if messes with you, this dolphin's going to take a chunk out of them. Okay. Very pretty, but be careful. So whatever support you have here, like me, ready to take a bite out of anybody who messes with my Pisces, this is the support you have, okay, on this new journey. You go for it, Pisces. You are the master, okay? Think it. Think it and you will be it. Do not fall into a victim mentality. Pick yourself up. You know you are special. Hell yeah. We are. We're special, okay? You have the ten of, um, you have the ten of wands here. There you go. I feel that you're putting a lot on your plate right now, though, uh, Pisces, okay? I feel that you've jumped from this to this, and you're trying really hard to carry uh, these burdens, okay? Yeah, you're carrying burdens, but it's to create stability, okay, with the Emperor card. I'm just trying to get a fix. The reason I stopped is I'm getting a fix of this statue of this guy, okay? This is a statue erected of him. I remember reading about it. The poor man's misery is painfully, painfully evident as he trudges on with his load of staves. Behind him is an ancient weather statue of himself? How can this be? He passes by it unseeing. It never occurs to him to look up to see the scenery or the stars. His whole existence is the path immediately before him. Though the scene is realistic in other ways, it is unlikely that anyone would erect a statue to this peasant laborer. The statue symbolizes how the man sees himself, captured for all time, in a subservient role. This is what happens when you refuse to share a heavy load. There's a thin line between being self-sufficient and being a martyr. Don't let a weakened identity be set in stone. There you go. Don't be weak. And that's exactly what I'm saying here. This is you. Don't let this be you, okay? This is not you, okay? There's nothing wrong with being a peasant and, and serve people, but you don't need to act like you're a servant, okay? You can serve people without being a servant, okay? Or a 
uh, a slave to this, okay? And if I look at this statue, what bothers me the most is that he's looking down. His face is looking down, so is the statue. Don't be this. Don't, don't be this. This is no good. You're working towards something else, but remember, you don't want to end up back here again, okay? By working yourself so hard. You don't want to repeat the cycles of how you got here in the first place to walk away. That's in relationship, that's in life, that's in your, uh, in your everyday work, okay? Even myself, I work at home, I work hard, and if, if I let myself, I could fall, my, I could build myself another prison, okay? That's no good, you don't want that. You don't want that. You want to become the master. You want to become the emperor. Not the peasant. Look at him. Yeah, he's sitting there. Yeah, he's all, you know, he's not a king, but he's all emperoring and stuff. Look at him. It's going like, mm-hmm. Yep, I have stability. Look at me. Okay? Absolutely. Okay, you want to be that, not the other one. Now, you have the nine of, and it, this is another hard card, the nine and the ten of, of, uh, of wands are are cards of like, whoo, a lot of burdens here, okay? Yeah, and more wands, more wands, you guys, oh my god, okay? But this is just to tell you that you're gaining higher ground, okay? You are gaining higher ground. Yep, you're a little, you're a little worse for wear, but you're definitely standing above the crowd here, okay? I know that this is always being defensive or having challenges, but it's also perseverance. The wands are about perseverance. The wands is like going forward even when you don't want to go forward. Just remember, okay, you stop at the nine, don't go to the ten. The ten is too much. There has to be um, in between for us Pisces. My mother used to say that I never saw shades of gray. It was always black or white, never shades of gray. It was never in between. And um, she may have been right. Sometimes I did. I did. It was like, you know, it's this way or that way, but nothing in between. As I've gotten older, I've, I've seen that there's in-betweens. There's a lot of in-betweens. There's a lot of different meanings to everything. But the thing is, is that you want to be here, just about to succeed, not here, just about to be burdened more with this Ten of, of Wands, okay? You want to be kingly, sitting on your throne, not, not burdened, okay, for the rest of your life, with too much to bear, too much on your shoulder. You want to gain high ground and win. You don't want to gain high ground and, and, and fail, or just... I don't know, work harder. Is that it? Yeah. You know, I'll give you an example. It's like the worker who works in an office and keeps working and working, hoping to get something out of it, either more money or, uh, uh, you know, be promoted. And the only thing they keep getting is more work, you know? I, there's a lot of people who have this likely story. Well, this is not the path you want. So you, there's boundaries here, okay? You definitely don't want to be going further one way. You want to find that happy medium, that gray spot, okay? Going, okay, I've done enough and this is as much as I'm going to do, okay? But don't quit before, but don't keep going too far. So it's just finding that right spot there, Pisces. And maybe you do that by taking moments to reflect. Okay, am I going too far? Um, did I go far enough? That would be it. Okay. You have the Six of Swords here, which is always about going um, on a journey. Okay. It can be even, and I see a card here. That's turned, and I do believe it's a strength card. I'm going to put it out because it was flipped in a deck. And, uh, yeah, I think it's important. I'm not going to use it as a clarifier, but it's definitely turned for a reason. Which is all about us being very strong, Pisces. This is your best quality, okay? We have so many qualities. Absolutely. 
There you go. Beautiful card to have. The card of being grounded. The Queen of Pentacles. This card is such a balanced card to me. Every time I see it, I feel a down-to-earth, grounded uh, butterfly. Okay? Very nurturing, resourceful, protective, practical, organized, making sensible decisions that produce sustainable progress. We are very good at that, okay? We are very good at succeeding for the most part. And we bring success to a lot of people as well. This is what I'm getting, okay? If you notice that when this dude's on the boat going, he's not going there alone. When we go towards something to leave behind, to go to something more successful, we usually bring some people with us, okay? Our loved ones, friends, co-workers, partners, uh, teammates, whatever you want to call it, anybody. We usually do have somebody that we're bringing with us, okay? Or somebody who's definitely, like, with us on the journey just to hang around. So... Definitely, you're going somewhere here. Absolutely. I'm just taking a peek because I'm curious. Look at the other side. Nice, you see? Okay. So, again, this card is, let's see, is it on the right side? Yes, it is. This is the right side. This is the way the card usually appears. And definitely. But in this card, they don't exactly see where they're going. You see, they don't see there's fog in the background. But they're pretty sure they know where they're going. Okay? And in this case, they have all of these six swords to defend themselves in case they need them. I mean, uh, it's not a bad card, but it's more of going somewhere. But it's like more of a knowing. With the Queen of Pentacles, you feel like you know, okay, where you are going. And you're going here, okay? This journey was to get you out of chaos. This this part here, this this crappy situation to steer you into this direction. And this is where you want to concentrate. You want to concentrate it on this grounded energy. And if you look at this queen, she's very pensive. She's very self-reflecting. If you look at this, yeah, she is definitely. She's looking down at that pentacle, but you get the impression that she's just kind of meditating, right? She's just in her own thoughts, loss in her own thoughts. And this is what you need to be doing. The quiet of the water and the fog in the distance makes me feel like you don't know where you're going, but you're definitely going on feeling, you're going on intuition, you're going with what's what's going on inside of you, Pisces, okay? And that's okay. And ultimately, well, this is a brand new journey. I mean, look at this. This is the fool. And there you go. There's that hangman. And I do believe this is also a card of Pisces, isn't it? The hangman, I heard somebody say that this morning on another channel. This is a card of us just hanging around, okay? Waiting brings transformation. And the transformation is here. This is a full card, okay? This is surrender to silence so that you can get a better view of things, that you can get the ha-ha moment that will propel you into your next moment, okay? You need time. You need time to contemplate this new journey, okay? A lot of us, are. what happens with us is we end one thing and then we jump into another thing right away. And we may have an idea, absolutely, we have lots of ideas of where we want to be going. But we don't necessarily have it all figured out. And we don't necessarily take the time to self-reflect and si in silence and sit in silence to figure out everything that we need to. We kind of wing it. We figure it out as we go along, right? I'm just going to fly by the seat of my pants here and things will start moving. Maybe. Maybe they will. But... Uh, wouldn't it be good if we actually just took a moment and said, okay, I've actually finished something. What have I learned from this? What do I not want to repeat? What do I want to continue with at this point? You know, if I'm quiet, will the answers... I think sometimes we're afraid the answers won't come, but that's not true. We're way too intuitive Pisces. 
Have you noticed that if we sit for any amount of time and the brand new idea will come in and then we'll start working on it right away? We hardly give ourselves the time for the ideas to sit with us for five minutes before we're already going. So it's very important. Very, very, very important. Okay? All right. So we got the strength card. I'm going to pull another card from here. Ah, there we go. Ah, and there's that Eight of Cups. Oh my God. I tell you, Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, every single time. Every single time, Pisces. This is to remind the Pisces who are watching this that if you haven't started moving on, it's time to do it. It is saying that with the strength that you have it in you to do it. That you are divinely guided. Okay? I'm just throwing that uh, in there. Okay? Uh, this is saying that you have the courage to move on. You do. Trust yourself. Okay? Trust yourself. You have inner strength and you have survival. Okay? Work with the wild part of you. That part that's a little bit, you know, on the cutting edge there. The one that's kind of does the mic drop and leaves, okay? Work with that part to find a balance between your logic and impulses. Because if you are propelled and feel the need to leave something, it's because it is causing you harm, okay? Trust in this. When you're in a relationship and it no longer serves you, and you leave that relationship, it's because something inside of you is in pain. And the vibe is not working, okay? If you are at a job and you get the same feeling, it's because you are in pain. Your vibrations, your alignment is out of whack. And there are signals being sent to you going, get out of here, okay? So, as scary as it may be, uh, I hate to say it, the damage that you're causing your physical body may be worse. Even uh, the, the sleepless nights or how your soul feels, okay? You do have the strength. You do have the strength to do it, okay? Look for support. Look for help. Be inspired to be who you are meant to be and all that you can be, okay? You set limitations for yourself, and I heard something this morning from somebody else, and I'm going to share it with you because I was totally moved by it. Pisces, we have the ability to revamp and change ourselves at any point in time. When people think they have us figured out, we change again. And then they go, oh, but you were, yeah, I was that two minutes ago. We are now two minutes past that, and I'm somebody completely different because now this is where I feel I vibe better, okay? Sometimes it is time for us to stick with something, especially if it's successful. We shouldn't sabotage yourself by all means, but we do have the ability when things do not or are not working out for us and feel awful and terrible, we have the ability to hop on a different bus and find another direction and become somebody different. We do it all the time. We are that resourceful, and this is the card of a resourceful queen. We are that resourceful. We are that ever-changing butterfly. Okay? Not only did we come out of the cocoon and start to fly, our colors change. We change what type of butterfly we are. We're magical. Okay? Do not forget that, Pisces. We are magical. I really hope that you've enjoyed this reading. It was really more intense than I thought it was going to be. But I'm getting a lot of messages for you. I want you to believe in yourself. This is, this is the biggest message that I have. I want you to sit and think of how beautiful, special, and magical you really are, Pisces, okay? We have the ability to do whatever we need, whatever comes at us. We can go and flow with it. We are water, okay? Thank you so much for being here, and thank you to everybody who has subscribed in the last couple of days and given me all these beautiful views. Oh my God, you're going to make my Christmas wish come true. You guys are awesome. I mean, what else can I say? 
I'm sending lots of love, light, and blessings to you, Pisces. I hope that you can pull something out of here and feel indestructible after you finish watching this. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.